I really hope this works out. Hey y'all, it's Lindsay, and I thought today we could make some rolls using this stuff. So what's in this jar? This is psyllium husks, and it's just like whole psyllium husks that I bought from Now Foods, um, and I just got them at a, a health food shop that's in a town nearby, not really nearby, but anyway, I picked these up. Um, the Now brand um, sells these whole psyllium husks, and these are a fantastic little uh, ingredient to keep in your pantry if you are a trim healthy mama or if you are a low carb baker. Now these little guys kind of act like gluten in the fact that they get um, they get they bind things together really well. And you might be familiar with psyllium in the form of like um, metamucil or you know other fiber <laughs> supplements and whatnot. Um, but this fiber is not the same stuff. Um, I mean it is, but it's not been processed the way that they process those powders. So anyway, this psyllium husk is going to help us make some delicious rolls that hold together and um, can really be an excellent replacement for yeast rolls whenever you're getting together with the big family gatherings for things like Easter and Thanksgiving and Christmas. And since it is Good Friday this Friday, um, I thought I would make some psyllium husk rolls for our Easter table. So these particular rolls I found on dietdoctor.com and they are low carb, high fat, and they use the um, psyllium husks ground up into a fine powder. And I just use my Ninja Blender here to do that. And then it just has a few other basic ingredients like almond flour, baking powder, sea salt, apple cider vinegar, boiling water, and egg whites. That's pretty much it. But using that almond flour means that it's a definite S roll, okay? And I kind of wanted to play around with using some um, baking blend to see if that could lighten them up a little bit to make them a light S or possibly even a fuel pull. I haven't crunched the numbers yet. These do take quite a long time to bake, um, anywhere between 50 minutes to an hour to fully bake. And um, their texture is a little bit different. They um, they they've got those egg whites in there, and they are definitely on the eggier side for texture. But they work out really, really well to be able to put a slab of butter in between like two halves of these rolls and just go to town. So my hope is that I can test these out side by side, almond meal on uh, in one batch, and then trim healthy mama blend or baking blend in the other batch, bake them up at the same time and kind of do like a little comparison and see if this works out. I really hope this works out because it would be great to be able to do this with baking blend and kind of make it lighter. So here we go.
Okay, so on this pan over here, I have my Trim Healthy Mama blend um, made into these psyllium husk rolls. And on this pan over here, these are the almond meal ones. So these would definitely be in S te territory. And these, it uses one and one quarter cups of the Trim Healthy Mama baking blend. So technically with five servings, or if you divided this batch into five servings, that would be a fuel pull. So I'm going to bake both pans at the same time and halfway through I'm going to rotate them from the top rack you know flip flop the racks that they're on so they can bake evenly and we're going to start with 50 minutes and see where that takes us. So this one is the almond crust or almond meal and this one is the Trim Healthy Mama. This one is definitely way more dense. This is very light and fluffy. Like this feels a lot like a white bread roll. Take a tiny little taste. A little bit of butter. Now, like I said, they will taste a little bit eggy-ish and not exactly like a yeast roll, um, but this bites like bread. It acts like bread. It's a fantastic carrier for butter. This is the almond flour one. These almond flour ones are a definite S, and you don't want to have too terribly many of these if you're already having a um, heavy S meal or if you're just going up to town with like a feast full of S dishes so try to try to take it easy on these but they're so good and now here's my Trim Healthy Mama one or Trim Healthy Mama baking blend I'm smearing just a tiny bit of butter I know you can't hardly see that okay okay I was really worried these were gonna be so dry and like bricks because these are significantly more dense than the almond flour ones like hockey puck feel very light soft airy texture like yeast roll texture on the almond meal ones oh man i was really worried about those mm -hmm. now those give you a more bread like flavor i feel like and <laughs> these could pass for whole wheat rolls in my opinion not like full-blown like yeast rolls where you spend you know three hours making the actual dough and all that jazz but holy smokes I'm gonna keep making them with the trim healthy mama baking blend the baking blend I believe does make them a fuel pull because the only fat that you're really getting is actually from the baking blend itself and a quarter cup of baking blend is a fuel pull I got 14 rolls out of each batch of these rolls. You can make them bigger and flatten them out to burger buns. You could make them smaller and make them tiny little bite-sized poppable buns. I've never tried it as a loaf, but I do not think they would bake up very evenly if you tried to do this as a loaf. Um, but yeah, for a dinner roll, this is awesome. I am super pumped. And these also freeze really, really well. You do want to store these in your refrigerator whenever, um, once you're ready to like put them away. Don't leave them on the counter overnight like regular yeast rolls. Um, yes, put them in the refrigerator or freeze them and just pull out a couple whenever you just need a couple of them. And they are going to feel like Play-Doh whenever you are um, rolling them in your hands to make the actual rolls. Um, that's what you want. So as you're rolling these out, I would highly recommend that you follow the directions to wet your hands with water so that they don't stick to your hands and it makes the roll look smoother and a little more uniform and um, it just keeps your hands from getting all gloppy. So these are delicious. I really hope that you will try them out. I will make sure to link 
the Diet Doctor recipe in the description, and I hope that you will give these a try with Trim Healthy Mama Blend. I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.